Doing a simple search through our email here at work lately, the word scam pops up almost as much as wind chill. <laughs> Adam Schrager is here for our weekly call for action segment. They're both painful. They are. Either way you I'm look not, at sure, it, I'm not yeah. sure which one's more painful. I don't know what is in the air right now, but there are a few things that we want to let folks know about. The Grant County Sheriff's Office is warning people about that IRS scam phone call, the one where someone demands tax payment or else you're going to jail. That is not real. The Dane County Sheriff's Office is warning about a call going around trying to raise money for its Shop with a Cop program. Sheriff's deputies only raise money for that by mail and only from July to December, so that too is a scam. And finally, Phil from Wanakee wanted to warn people about a Craigslist scam that he encountered while he was trying to sell a stove. The buyer said they were out of town, couldn't pick it up in person, and wanted him to send a shipping payment through Western Union, all of those our red flags. Let's go now to an update uh, of a story that we shared last month. A woman in Platteville who had a problem with the post office. Marilyn Brueger tried to send a box worth of 1980s baseball cards to her son in Seattle. She took out insurance on the package which never arrived in Seattle. She called for action and our volunteers helped guide her through the process to try and recoup her money. The post office originally told her she had to provide receipts to get her insurance. She said that was like 30 years ago. Who keeps receipts that long? Anyhow, she still hasn't received her insurance payment. We're working on that with her. However, a man in Johnson Creek saw the story and offered her six boxes of cards, authentic cards, that he and his brother had collected. Marilyn said it renewed her faith in humanity. Neighbors helping neighbors. We love those kinds of stories. Speaking of helping, let's look at some of the successes from the Call for Action volunteers over the last couple of weeks. Christine in Brooklyn called for action with cell phone issues. Our volunteer Steve helped her get $247 back and her monthly bill settled. Nicole in Wapan, she called for action after her old employer would not give her earned vacation time after she left. Our volunteer Lori helped her get a cash payout of nearly $1,300. And Sandra in Sun Prairie called for action because of problems with an online merchant. Our volunteer Barb helped her recruit nearly $600 and solve the problem for good. I good. love hearing about those yeah, success they're stories. Good stuff. Okay, now on to the spam report, and yeah. uh, there's a spy theme today. Yeah, we're uh, channeling our inner <laughs> 003, if you will. We are reporting for duty as I present to you this email from Mrs. Rama Audra Ogo. <laughs> Common <Right>? spelling. <laughs> <laughs> Today's spam report is titled, Very Urgent, in all capital letters. It starts, I am ready to do this transaction with you only if you are ready to keep it secret because I do not need any security problems. You and me either. I don't either. If only you can exercise your honesty after receiving 20.5 USD in your bank account because I do not want to be cheated. Again, we're in full agreement. I've been afraid to reveal this to anybody. That is why I wanted to contact you, my old foreign friend. Confirm to me your readiness so we can enable the transfer commence immediately. No matter how suave I want to be, no matter how cool I think I might be, those who know me well would openly laugh at the idea of me as a spy. I'm just way too dorky. However, I do like my spam email shaken, stirred, and then disposed of. If you're like me, please just hit the leak. Our Call for Action volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help with any consumer problems you may have. The hotline number is 608-270-2833, or you can call for action anytime, channel3000.com slash call for action. You're not that dorky. I'm pretty dorky. Not that dorky. Maybe not All right. that dorky, but I'm, I'm pretty. 003. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Adam. Thanks. Appreciate it. We'll be right back.